Statewide coronavirus infections up 200% this month compared to June. Today, the state dashboard adding 3,500 new cases. Missouri on pace for 40,000 new cases in July as the Delta variant sweeps Missouri and the U.S. Here's KQ2's Madeline McLean with more on the state battle against COVID-19. Now about 59% of adults in Missouri have received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. As officials and doctors plead with more people to get the shots. Things ahead are not looking good. Um, we are extremely worried about the beginning of the school year and what that might what dangers that might bring with it. This is by no means over. Friday, Missouri reporting its largest single day increase of COVID-19 infections since January 4th and more than 13,200 new cases this week. It's an 18% increase over just last week and hospitals have filled to the highest point since January with more than 1,900. When I do hear people have the perspective that COVID isn't that big of a deal, you know, it really is. And I think some people don't realize that until it affects their loved one. It's triggered a wave of reimposed mask mandates in the Kin City and St. Louis area. And backlash against city and public health officials. We in public health, however, are not the enemy. We care about people and we want them to remain healthy and safe in their own homes. And spats between state officials and public health leaders spilling out into the public. Thursday night, Springfield officials setting the record straight, denying the governor's version of the story. He says the reason the region's alternative care site was no longer needed was because of falling cases and stabilizing hospitalizations. Springfield officials say no, it was because the state took too long, so they found their own emergency space and staff, and that hospital beds are still needed, filling up, and scores of people are dying. We've actually brought in a, a portable um, piece of technology that allows bodies to be cooled in, in a place outside the morgue. So we, we have had to expand that um, because um, the, the mortality has gone up so much lately. The Springfield Hospital CEO updating and correcting information about deaths at the hospital, saying six of the hospital's 75 deaths this month were vaccinated. Reporting, Madeline McLean, KQ2 News. Springfield's other hospital, Mercy, reports that out of their 130 COVID patients they're caring for, six of them are children and four are under the age of 10.